Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. In my last two videos, I showed you two ways of printing a web page that doesn't really print very well. I showed you how to just find the one page of many that you want to print. And then I showed you how to use Safari Reader to print a nice text version of the page. Well, what if you actually want to include some of the photos or graphics on that page? Well, I'm going to show you a really cool Safari extension that will let you pick and choose which parts of the page you want to print. And don't worry, you will need to install something, but this is going to be the easiest installation you've ever done. Let me show you. So this time we want to print out this image along with the article. So the Safari Reader solution that I taught you in the last video won't help because that only shows the text. So I'm going to show you this really cool Safari extension that does exactly what we want here. So up here in the Safari menu, you'll see the second option is Safari Extensions Gallery. Click on that, you'll go to a new tab, takes you to the Apple website, and to the page called Safari Extensions Gallery. Uh, this is exactly what it sounds like. A Safari extension is a way of extending the capability of Safari. Um, you can browse through here. There are just tons of different extensions. The one I'm looking for right now is in the productivity section. And I'm going to scroll down a little. Here it is. It's called Print Plus. And this is how easy it is to install. You click on the Install Now button. You wait a few seconds. Bingo. It's installed. I'm going to close this tab. I'm going to go back to this article. Now the one thing is, um, for it to work, you need to refresh the page. Uh, any pages that were loaded before you installed it won't work. So I'm just going to reload it right now. There we go. And you'll see that up here near your address bar, there's a new button. This is the Print Plus button. So I'm going to click that right now. And it's kind of weird. It doesn't look like much has happened. Okay, now it's put that little blue line there. But look what happens here. I'm going to scroll down and see as I move around, I've got this orange rectangle that goes around different parts of the screen. What you do is when you find an area that you want to include in your print, you just click. So now that's included. Now I'll scroll down. I want to include that. Um, I want to include the whole body. So it's, it's kind of tricky here. Sometimes it'll just select a sentence or two. Um, get to a point where you can uh, surround the whole article. Click that. And I'll scroll down just to confirm. Yes, that got the article, but it didn't get any of the stuff underneath it. So now I'm going to go up to the top here and click this print button. And this will bring up the usual print window. And you can see in the little preview here, it's, it's exactly the parts I selected. The image, the title of the article, and then the body of the article. That's all there is to it. And then I'll go hit print and be done. So, hope that helps you when printing web pages. And uh, also remember, there's lots of other Safari extensions, and you see how easy they are to install. So, um, browse around and see if there's any others you want to play with.